So yes, the KLX250 is proven to do easy flowy trails and of course forest service roads. Yes, in the past I have created a video on how the KLX does off-roading, but the KLX250 was only tested on rocky flat type of trails, which lacked huge elevation change with tighter turns and steeper climbs. So the question is really power. Now that I have a little experience under my belt, I can see just how well this KLX250 performs in comparison to traditional dirt bikes. I had some trails in mind, but but at the time, my skill levels were not there. I know in the video the trail looks easy, but these trails are definitely steep with tight turns. Keep in mind, I am also running a super wide view on the GoPro, and that never really does justice. What's up everybody, riding with Will. So today's question is, can a KLX250 handle dirt bike trails like steep sharp and stuff like that so the answer is yes it can handle straight up ohv trails and by the way i'm 220 pounds completely stock uh suspensions and everything like this is a straight up climb gnarly trails a lot of dirt bikers take this now i'm not gonna lie the two stroke definitely feels more planted, especially at speed. And I noticed for some reason, I can't turn the KLX 250 like I can the TE 250. Like it seems more, you know, more flickable for some reason. I guess it's because the weight or just the way it's designed. All right, so hear me out. Straight out the bat, the KLX250 is capable of doing harder OHV trails. And what I mean by harder OHV trails usually refers to like tighter, steeper type of trails. It could do rocks on the flats, no problem, of course. I mean, the wheel kind of just rolls right along them. On the KLX250, I did notice the, thir the turns. For some reason, it was not as responsive as my TE250i or the Beta 350RR. I definitely did not have the confidence to go as fast as my two-stroke down these trails and felt the turn was delayed, if that kind of makes sense. I am not sure if this was due to the weight of the KLX250 or just the overall design such as the ergonomics of the bike. This right here definitely gave me some thought on how tough this bike would definitely be on really tight single, on single track. Now I'm not talking about flowy single track, I mean even a big bike can do flowy single track. Now the power is another thing. Even on 1350 gearing, it was pretty difficult to stay on second gear on this bike due to how steep the trail was. I really had to wind it out on first, which really felt I was making the bike work really hard just to carry me over some steep descents. And the bad part was, so you have this super steep climb and then all of a sudden you have a turn that just jolts right at the end. So I can't keep second revved out. I'll be going too fast on the turns. So I have to downshift and then back to first. I couldn't leave it on second because the power just wasn't there unless I clutched. I mean, you can still go pretty fast on it. So many trees in the way. So this trail here, 650. It's a nice flowy trail system. Any means, it's definitely not easy. Cause you got sharp turns like this right here that goes into a steep, uh, a steep climb. But yeah, if you're chilling, you know, want to chug along, here it is, OHV trails. I had a freaking bug in my face. So this turn here, like I noticed, I can't do it as fast as like my TE 250, the two stroke, or I can't go as fast, you know. So who can I say this bike is for? Without a doubt, if you are not a fast rider and more of a mellow, chilled out rider, a KLX250 is perfect. It can handle some tougher, steeper trails, but just not as fast. 
The confidence is not there to tackle downhill quickly on a, a as a two-stroke, and many people definitely like this as a safety feature. Think of it as a don't be stupid control. <laughs> it can tear up some serious trails, but for sure you will be the last one in line, which of course can be a good thing. No broken bones means you can keep riding, right? I would also say the KLX250 is for someone who is really into exploring open wide roads with minimal elevation change. The KLX250 would be perfect for that. I noticed right off the bat the KLX250's weakness is definitely steep climbs and descends at speed. Well that is it guys, so if you guys like my content go ahead and subscribe and definitely hit that bell button so you can get all my notifications and I'll catch you guys on my next video.